Hey students, this is a video on section 2.3, which is about polynomials, okay? So first of all, what is a polynomial? Um, a polynomial has a whole number exponents, okay? So a polynomial has only whole number exponents for the variable x. Okay? Okay, so it only has whole number exponents. What is what is a whole number? A whole number means that it's a counting number. So it can either be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, but you can't have any negative exponents. You can't have any fractions um, that contain a variable in the denominator, and you also can't have any radicals. Okay? So only whole number exponents. All right? And so what this means is no fractions, no negative exponents, no negative exponents, and also um, no radicals around the variable. Okay. So no radicals around the variable x. Okay, you can have fractions that are just numbers, but you can't have fractions where the variable is in the denominator. Okay. So when I say no fractions, I actually mean um, no variable in the denominator, just to make that extra clear. Okay, so no fractions means no variable in the denominator. Okay, but if you just have um, a sum of powers where your variable x has only whole number exponents and nothing else, then that's considered a polynomial. Okay, so let's see some examples of polynomials and things that aren't polynomials. Okay, so example. Determine whether the function is a polynomial function. Okay, determine whether each function is a polynomial function. And remember, a polynomial function is just going to be the same as a polynomial, but we're calling it a function because it's a function of x. So you can plug in x uh, everywhere. So, uh, but here when I say polynomial, um, a polynomial is sort of synonymous with a polynomial function. Okay, it's just going to be one variable x. So, example, determine whether each function is a polynomial function. And for example number one, we're going to be doing, um, our function is f of x equals 7x to the 7 plus 3x squared. 7x to the 7 plus 3x squared. Okay? Um, so they want us to determine whether this is a polynomial function, and literally all you have to do is look at the exponents of your variable. So here the exponents are 7 and 2, and we know that 7 and 2 are whole numbers. Remember, whole numbers, whole numbers are going to be the numbers that you can count to. So 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay, 
So, um, so this function is going to be a polynomial function because all these exponents are whole numbers. So our answer is this is a polynomial. Or a polynomial function because it's actually a function of x. So again, all I did there was I looked at the exponents and I made sure that the exponents um, were whole numbers. So counting numbers can't be negative, can't be fractions for the exponents, you can't have any radicals, you can't have any variable in the denominator, but we don't have any of that here. We just have whole number exponents, uh, so we're good. Okay, so that's only whole number exponents. Okay, all right, and then um, when you're doing your homework, they're going to ask you another question. So let me add a little bit more to our instructions. So they want you to determine whether it's a polynomial function. If it is a polynomial function, they want to identify what's called the degree. So if so, identify its degree. identify its degree. Okay, so what does this word degree mean? Um, degree actually means identify the highest power. And this only works if it is a polynomial function. But we already decided this one was a polynomial function because it has only whole number exponents. Okay, so if we identify its degree here, uh, the degree is the same as the highest power. Okay, the highest power. That's what degree means. All right, so if we look at this function here, um, we said it's a polynomial and we're looking at the powers. We can see that the highest power here is seven. So that means the degree of the polynomial is seven. Okay, so this function is degree seven. So all you care about for the degree is the very highest power. Okay. All right, so that's number one. And that's an example of a polynomial function. Now let's take a look at some, uh, some other functions that are not necessarily polynomial functions, and maybe some that are, uh, but you might think otherwise. Okay, so for uh, problem number two, example number two, we're going to do, uh, this is going to be called g of x. g of x is our function. And this is g of x equals 5x to the 5 plus 6x cubed plus 5 over x. Okay. So if you're paying attention up above, you should already know that this is not a polynomial function. So now why is this not a polynomial function? Well here, the x to the fifth and the x cubed is fine. Those are whole numbers. So that's fine. So those are whole numbers. But the problem here is actually the variable in the denominator. So remember, you can't have any variables in the denominator. So if I go back up here, um, I said you can't have fractions where the variable is in the denominator. You can't have negative exponents, and you can't have radicals. Okay, so the problem with this one is that we actually have a variable in the denominator. Okay, so variable in denominator means that it's automatically not a polynomial function. Okay, so this is not a polynomial function. Okay. 
So um, we had whole number exponents here, but once we had the variable in the denominator, it's not a polynomial function. And if it's not a polynomial function, you don't need to write the degree. So we just skip the part where we write the degree. Because it doesn't have a degree unless it's a polynomial. Okay? All right, so problem number three. Problem number three. Here we have h of x as our function, and h of x equals x to the one-half minus 7x plus 1. All right? h of x equals x to the one-half minus 7x plus 1. Now, um, you might be confused about this one. Uh, the thing is, if you don't remember what a one-half power means, is it actually means there's a radical. Okay, so the problem here is we actually have a one-half as the exponent, and one-half is not a whole number. Not a whole number. And um, if you have an exponent that's not a whole number, that means that it's going to be a fraction or a decimal, and in regardless of what case it is, if you have an exponent that's not a whole number, that's going to involve a radical. Okay, so x to the one-half actually means um, the square root of x. I don't know if you remember that um, from your other classes, your math classes. So x to the one-half equals the square root of x, and any number that's not a whole number as your exponent means that it's not a polynomial function. Okay, so this one is not a polynomial. And keep in mind, they also could have written it as a square root. Um, but they didn't write it as a square root. They wrote it as a fraction exponent. But if you have any exponent that is not a whole number, then it's not a polynomial. Okay? All right, so that's problem number three. And uh, let's take a look at problem number four. Problem number four. Uh, here our function is r of x equals 5x minus the square root of x. 5x minus the square root of x. Actually, let's make it a little more fun. Let's make it be the cube root of x. Not that it's going to make any difference. but um, uh, 5x minus the cube root of x. So here, um, the problem is that we actually have a radical. Okay, so we have a radical here, which is cube root of x. And if you ever have a radical, um, that's the same as having an exponent that's not a whole number. So cube root of x actually means x to the one-third. And one-third is not a whole number. So one-third is not a whole number. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, this fails to be a polynomial function. So this is not a polynomial. Not a polynomial function because we have a radical which amounts to having an exponent that's not a whole number. Okay, all right, so um, that was most of the cases that I wanted to cover, um, just one more. Okay, so problem number five. Problem number five, um, here we have uh, p of x. p of x equals x cubed plus x squared plus x to the negative two. So now with this one, um, everything's fine with the x cubed and the x squared because those are whole numbers. But with the negative 2, um, that is not a whole number. Okay, so negative 2 is not a whole number. Not a whole number. 
because remember the whole numbers are just the positive counting numbers along with zero. Okay, so since that's not a whole number for the exponent, that means it's not a polynomial function. And also recall I said if you have any negative exponents, that automatically means you're not a polynomial function. Okay? Not a polynomial. And sometimes I'll just say not a polynomial when I'm feeling lazy, but um, when I say not a polynomial, in this section, I also mean not a polynomial function. See, a polynomial is just the right side of the equation here. Well, this one's not a polynomial, but like if I go to uh, the first problem was actually a polynomial. Well, the right side is a polynomial, but because it has f of x on the left side, that means it's a polynomial function. Okay. But the right side is the polynomial, and the left side indicates that it's in function notation, so it's actually a polynomial function. Okay?